Hi everyone, my name is Umama Bashir and I'm a first year medical student at King's College London. I've been getting a lot of requests on TikTok to make a video on how I got an A star for A level biology. So yeah, I've even made a plan on my iPad so you know this is about to get serious. A lot of people are very hesitant to even do A level biology or carry it on but I can assure you it's not as hard as it seems and by watching this video you will definitely be on the right steps to get an A star or an A. I followed three steps um, to get myself an A star in A level biology and these steps really did give me an advantage compared to other students and put me in a position where I didn't have to work as hard while achieving the same results. Let's get started with step number one which is understand it. This is basically me telling you to understand the content and as obvious as it seems you would not believe how many students walk out of lessons not understanding the content thinking to themselves oh i'm just gonna you know learn it later myself or i'll try and understand it but the key to get an a star in a level biology which is very content based is leaving every lesson understanding the content so what i did is after each lesson i made sure that i understood every single aspect of biology that we learn in that particular lesson and if I didn't I would stay behind and ask questions I wouldn't hesitate to ask questions during the lesson and in the rare cases actually not rare it was pretty no <laughs> it was pretty normal for me to walk out clueless um and in those cases I would literally watch a video um and understand the content itself understand the processes why does this happen because once you've understood the content honestly the application questions will be so much easier to answer and if you're a biology student you would know that application questions are where most people lose marks so please 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 start off by understanding the content ask questions the teachers are there to help you at the end of the day step number two is preparation for the exams this involves active recall so what is active recall? Active recall revision techniques involve revision techniques that engage your brain during learning. So for example, testing yourself, um, testing your friends, making your friends test you, blurting methods, whereas passive revision techniques include rereading, highlighting, making notes, and you always want to be on the active recall side of the spectrum. There's a lot of research that has backed up the importance of active recall in learning and how much easier it makes learning and i genuinely give credit to my active recall techniques for my a star in a level biology because there's so much content to memorize and the best way to do that is via active recall processes and this is where preparation takes place you prepare your revision resources early on after each lesson so that it doesn't pile up months before the exam or your mocks in my sixth form we got notes for every single topic that we did in A-level biology. So we would have one handout, for example, transport of gases for about five lessons. What I would do is I would make mini questions on all the content that we went through in that lesson. So for example, if we were going through the adaptation of transport for animals handout, which would take about five lessons. Um, what I would do is after each lesson, I would make uh, mini questions based on the content that we had been through in that particular lesson. So, for example, if we did one lesson on the control of the heartbeat and analysing the electrocardiogram, right after that lesson, I would make a subheading that would say the control of the heartbeat. Under it, I would write mini questions based on the information given in the handout. So, for example, if the handout said the heart is myogenic, and myogenic means this is this. What I would do is I would write a question which would say, what does myogenic mean? And just to give you a little bit more context on how I would do this, I will give you some examples of other questions. So what is the sinoatrial node? What causes the atria to contract simultaneously? And I would make mini questions like this until I've got a pack of flashcards full of mini questions for the whole topic. This whole stack of flashcards is purely on the adaptations of transport animals and this really works on strengthening your knowledge. By following step one, which is understanding the content, and step two, which is preparation, you are already in line to get good grades because now you know how to answer the application questions because you understand the content. But you also know how to answer the recall questions because you have literally so many different recall questions right here. In terms of how often I would go through the flashcards, I would go through these flashcards two months before my exam. 
before my exams i would look at what topics i am being assessed on and i would go through all of those flashcards and i would suggest that from the beginning make these revision resources and go through them at the end of the week if you don't have enough effort for that start revising as soon as you get told about the mark with these another technique that helps a lot of people which involves engaging your brain is blurting now what blurting is you Take a blank piece of paper, take a black pen and write down everything you remember about um, transport of gases, for example. Then you take a red pen and you write down everything that you've missed out. Once you've done that, you look at everything that you've missed out and you go back and learn that. Test yourself on it. Do the blurting technique again. Repeat this blurting technique until you have all black and you remember everything. Now, the final step is exam practice. This step is now like a cherry on top. You have done your understanding aspect. You understand why the concepts work because you've asked your teacher, you've stayed behind, you've made the most of your resources. But not only that, you now remember all the content because you've made flashcards with mini questions. You're constantly going through these flashcards. What's left now is answering the questions themselves. And this is the very, very last step. Don't do this step until you've done the understanding aspect and the preparation aspect. This is starting off with doing topic based questions on physics and maths tutor, for example. I just showed you the example of transport of animals and transport of gases. So say I have an exam in two months time. I would start going through these flashcards and once I'm confident enough that I'm getting all these questions in the flashcards right, I would move on to this step, maybe two weeks before the exam. For every topic that's in the exam, I would do all of the physics and math to our topic based questions. So um, I would do questions on transport of gases, transport of animals. Then I would mark these questions. Do not move on to exam papers until you've marked and assessed your marking. Mark the question in a different colour and be strict with the marking, okay? Because you're not losing anything. You're not getting a grade out of what you're doing. So be strict with your marking. Anything that you've missed marks on or got read, go back to your handouts. Learn it again until you understand it. Once you've done that, the last step is the past papers. You would probably have about a week left for your mock exam or maybe two and now this is where every single day you should be doing past papers you should be doing a past paper then marking the past paper in a different color and then revising the topics that you got wrong in the past paper and go into your teachers if you don't understand the mark scheme one final thing make sure you take advantage of all the resources that your teachers have so that's everything that helped me get an a star for a level biology and i hope it helps you um if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section and if you want me to make videos about anything else let me know i did also get an a star for um psychology and an a for chemistry yeah if you have any questions regarding applying to university anything else that you want me to make a video on please let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to add my socials which i have linked below and yeah thank you for watching my video